How's it going everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the patch notes on the new update for the Bloodhound Town Takeover event that Apex Legends has released into the game. Now, during this event, the maps have been changed, so now King's Cannon is also available in rotation and will be available to you after every two hours. And also, there have been a lot of balancing changes coming to the game um, with regards to certain legends and guns. So let's get into the guns. When it comes to the G7 nerf, they reduced the headshot damage on the gun from a headshot scale of 2 to 1.75, which is just like this. They also reduced the damage on the leg shot. So they just do 26 damage per leg shot now. And they've also reduced the projectile speed. So moving along to the L star, the recoil has been reduced on it to a more predictable pattern. The kickback has been reduced. But along with that, the time to overheat has been reduced on the gun. So the gun will cool down faster now than did before. So watch out for those cooldown times and make sure to take a rest from spamming that out. The headshot multiplier on the Kraber has been increased. We will now deal 435 damage to the head. That means headshots landed on a Gibraltar will definitely kill him now as opposed to before where it only did 180 damage. Next change comes from the Evo Shield. Big change over here, the Evo Shield's damage requirements have been reduced to get the first tier all you need to do is get 75 damage and then you just need 150 damage for the next tier which is the purple shield so it just takes three g three or four g7 shots and boom you're back up to a purple shield which makes the evo shield a pretty viable option in rank and all you need is another 400 damage to get the max red evo shield so definitely don't sleep on the evo shield now because if you have a dmr or a sniper or anything like that you will be able to get your 225 hp especially if you're gibraltar when it comes to revenant his silence ability has been buffed now you can throw two silences at enemies instead of one as opposed to before and the duration of his ability has also been increased from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. Revenant Silence ability now can also disarm a Gibraltar shield, which gives you easy access to hit Gibraltar's giant fleshy target, which should provide to be a massive game changer in a lot of gunfights. Revenant's ultimate, the totem, has also received a buff. The players who use the totem and die will come back with 50 HP now as opposed to 1 HP from before. This will also provide for better plays with the totem and resulting in players not dying instantly in case the totem was placed in the zone. Wraith also received another nerf, surprise surprise. Raid's portal will now vanish if it's in the zone completely, that is if the start point and the end point of the portal are both in the zone, Raid's portal will end within 3 seconds, 2-3 to three seconds, the time of which is indefinite, you'll see that from this clip, let me know in the comments how long it was. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, this is video number 16, and 16 days we've been super consistent with the uploads. Uh, I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from all of you guys and definitely make sure that you guys smash a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitch, the link's in the description, and if you guys can, share this video with your friends if you guys enjoyed it. This has been your boy Ultimate Noobs, signing off. Peace out guys. Take care. Push in, push in. Right one. Last guy, last guy, last guy, last guy. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Try that, try that, boys. Let's go. Good shit. Bro, we're popping, bro. Let's go. Shit. It's like what? It's like what? We won a game, then third place, then a win. Let's fucking go, bro.
Two wins out of three? I'll take that. Okay. Yeah. But we, we, 